Hey everybody, this is Dr. Daniel Choi here from North Texas Dental Surgery Wisdom Teeth and Implant Center. I just wanted to make a quick little video talking about the most common wisdom teeth symptoms so that if you're experiencing any of these, you can go in for a consultation to potentially get your wisdom teeth out. All right guys, so I wanted to go over some of these uh, major wisdom teeth symptoms that you may be experiencing um, because yeah, if you have any of these, you probably have an issue with your wisdom teeth. Um, and if you do, then obviously you want to go in for a consultation, get a, a scan um, with your dentist to kind of see what's going on. So here are some of the symptoms, um, pressure and pain coming from the back of your jaws. So um, a lot of times we get patients that come in and they're saying they've just been having a lot of um, issues developing the area. Yeah, they knew that they were supposed to get their wisdom teeth out earlier, um, but they're just getting that pressure and pain. Sometimes it can go away and then sometimes it comes back. So my advice to you, if you start experiencing those issues, go and see your dental surgeon, get a consultation, get that scan and they'll give you a risk assessment and tell you what's going on, if you're more likely to develop these issues again, and also what the, they would need to do to get you out of pain. Number two, irritated gums coming from the back of your jaw. So you can get irritated gums because what happens is, um, as that, that, that tooth is erupting through your gums, it's almost like teething, that pain that we experienced as children. Um, but what can happen is basically um, just that, that pain that develops from the teeth trying to punch through the gums, um, another issue as to why you might be experiencing some of the irritated gums from the back of that area is because you might be developing too much bacteria in the area, which can then be causing a little local infection. Um, so that goes along with, um, um, if you have a localized infection, you can start developing a little bit of pus um, because you might have what we call an abscess. So an abscess is like a localized infection in the area, starts really irritating your gums, and sometimes like the pus can start draining from that area. If you were to take a look back there, you would see that your gums are more puffy. Um, you'd see like, you know, a yellow clear straw fluid uh, like in look, uh, liquid, which is pus, kind of like coming from that area, and that's an indication that you have an abscess in that area, okay? Um, so that would be an indication that, you know, hey, I'm having issues back there, and you should probably look at getting your wisdom teeth extracted. Now, if that like you know that that little abscess gets a little bit worse then you get even more swelling from that infection and sometimes in limited cases also it can get bad enough that basically your whole like jaw just becomes like lock jaw and you can't even open that much so we get these patients that come in to get their wisdom teeth extracted and they can barely open because there's so much infection has set in there and just it becomes incredibly difficult to remove their wisdom teeth because when we're working that far back we got to have you opening more than just like this much we got to really have you open and crank open so um, just letting you know that would be another symptom, especially if you're, you know, you got that locked jaw. So, and I wanted to go over one other symptom that a lot of other patients experience, and that's basically migraines and headaches. So migraines and headaches, sometimes some patients like, you know, just, they just start developing these, you know, these, these bad headaches later on, and it can be related to your wisdom teeth. You know, earlier in my career, and I've done wisdom teeth for like nine and a half years now, like over 10,000 cases. Earlier in my career, I really doubted whether that was really correlated, but I just seen so many patients you know, over the years that there, there really isn't a, like a correlation between that. So anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I have a lot of other articles and videos talking about wisdom teeth symptoms and, you know, just the whole process about wisdom teeth. So feel free to check those out. Thanks.